the wheel of fortune there's so much symbolism in this card i would invite you to really um get to know this energy because this one is very tricky to work with just as it implies as tricky as it is as it is to work with or to um because everything that comes back around um spirit was giving us this uh beautiful video i saw earlier today and they showed how pi is irrational and how this equation of pi expresses itself but every time it comes back around it will never come back around the same way so too is the karmic wheel there are things that have been put into play maybe in this lifetime maybe earlier today maybe a few weeks ago maybe a few months ago maybe lifetimes ago but everything has a turn everything turns the wheel is constantly spinning it's like a clock it never stops but this clock is a little bit differently because this one is all about karmic cycles actions and reactions things that seemingly uh, feel like they're not um, connected but they are um, it also shows you here this little demon that's coming around, but divine justice is also here at work. We have chariot energy here with the Sphinx as well. So this is something that cannot be stopped. It's kind of like the chariot where we have God that is driving this force, the all-knowing, all-being, all-seeing. So too, this is related to the chariot and it is another wheel, very few wheels like this. Um, the directions as well, the cardinal directions, but we also have the fixed signs here. So these are things that seem more fixed. So these are stable structures that are coming back around. And this time it's almost like you've reaped what you sow in a way, similar to Seven of Pentacles energy. But with this, this has to do with the greater context of all of the seasons of your life and how they've attributed or how they've conditioned you to play out certain cycles in your life. This is all about cycles. This is about unexpected events that seemingly feel unexpected, but they are related to things that were planted a long time ago. Um, it's kind of like the clock. Every day feels different, but at the same time, Time, there are themes that are passed on through the seasons it's what's sustained over a long period of time over the seasons um, it's all about karma it's all about action and reaction unexpected events whether the karma is positive and you've gotten to move on from the lesson or not you could repeat a lesson as well even if, if you really enjoyed it or uh, this is karma in the negative uh, where something is coming back that you may not like as much but still needs to be completed these are all about cycles this is about cycles in a very um almost like hunab ku uh, olmec calendar type of way where cycles are are circular uh, they're not linear cycles uh, the wheel of fortune